Hi everyone. Great job so far. Today we are starting a new unit and we are going into geometry. Many things you will probably already know. Some things will be new, but here we go. Today's lesson is all different vocab words that you need to know in order to be successful in this unit. All right, so here we go. First one is a point. So the definition for a point is, a point is a position in space with no size or shape. Now obviously we give it a size and a shape, we make it look like a point, and we might give it a capital letter that is point A. All right, second thing you need to know is a line. A line you should think of as an infinite, that's right, infinite set of, oops, sorry, set of points all lined up in a row. Um, extends forever in both directions. All right, so make sure you guys are writing this down in your notebooks. So a line would look like arrows on both ends. And there will be points, you can think of it as having infinite number of points. They're gonna label a couple of them so you can label the line. So this would be the line AB. And they want you to put that line above it with arrows on both ends. You could label that line BA. That would be exactly correct. All right, but the important thing is you have arrows on both ends. All right, next thing is a ray. A ray is similar to a line, but it has one endpoint and then goes forever in only one direction. So a ray is a line with one endpoint and extends infinitely in only one direction. So it's like a ray of sunshine, right? Picture the sun is where it starts and all the rays extend in one direction. So a picture will look like this. Maybe that's R and they'll give you another point. So this would be the ray RS. And your arrow is important, okay? The arrow is where the S is, that's where the arrow on your um, notation is. All right? Okay, so that's a ray goes in one direction, ray of sunshine. Okay, the next thing you need to know is how to label an angle. So an angle is two rays that intersect at a common point. I think you know what an angle looks like, right? And again, they will give you letters. Maybe that's A, B, C. Now the way you name this angle, and when I say angle, guys, I'm talking about this distance here. Maybe that's 30 degrees or something. If they want you to name the angle, you're gonna name it with the three letters in order. So this would be angle, that's the angle sign. This would be either angle A, B, C, or you could call it angle CBA. But the point is if you trace those letters in the order, they give you that angle. So you couldn't say ACB because there's no connection there. That would be something different. So I always trace in the order and make sure I can get that angle. Now there's a special kind of angle called a straight angle. A straight angle 
is an angle that's equal to 180 degrees. And guess what? It's just a straight line. Picture it. Here's the center of the angle. I don't know, let's call it Y. We'll call this X, we'll call this Z. So picture, it's a really big angle if you were to measure it. That's 180 degrees. And you would say this is angle X, Y, Z. All right, so if there's a straight line, that really is an angle of 180 degrees. Okay, so that's all the stuff, um, the first part of the vocab. Now we also need to talk about different pairs of lines. So there's three more things here. Again, might be a review, but that's okay. So pairs of lines, we'll say. Pairs of lines. And there's three things that you need to know. What are we up to? This is number six. So intersecting lines. And I think you kind of know what those look like. They just intersect at one point, at a common point. Basically they cross. Think about an intersection, right? Route 50 and Lake Hill Road. There's an intersection and if you stood in the middle, please don't do that, you would be at the common point. You'd be on both roads at the same time. So, you know, here's a line, here's a line. The point where they intersect is right there. All right, so that's intersecting lines. They just cross at a point. Then we have parallel lines, which I think you've talked about before. And these are lines that never intersect. So do the best you can here. It's kind of like railroad tracks, right? These two lines, even though they extend forever, will never intersect. Now, if I labeled this N and this line M, the symbol for this is that N is parallel to M. So that's a new symbol. You're gonna see that on the practice sheet. But two lines that are parallel will never cross. All right, last one, guys. Sorry, I know this was a lot of writing. Last one is perpendicular. Perpendicular lines. Now these intersect and something special always happens. They intersect and form four right angles every time. So let's draw this one. You would have a line this way. If it's perpendicular, they label, this would be a 90, this would be a 90, this would be a 90, this would be a 90. You would get 90 degrees in all four spots. And let's, let's label these lines. Let's say that's line A and line B. The symbol for perpendicular looks like this. So there's another new symbol. This means A is perpendicular to B, and that is the picture that you would get. All right? Okay, guys, good job. Hopefully you wrote all that down so you can use it for the practice problems that I attached. Um, you can either use Kami, which we practiced, or just write it on a separate sheet of paper. Um, you don't have to hand it in, but if you do it on Kami and hand it in, um, that's totally fine too. All right? Good job, guys. Keep up the good work.